How many of you have heard of BTS? Who is BTS and why are they so popular? BTS is a seven member group from South Korea. While the words boy band are often associated with the image of screaming teen girls, that is far from reality. First, there's nothing wrong with being a young person showing love for something you enjoy. But what if I told you about 24% are in their 20s, 28% are in their 30s, and 21% are in their 40s? Take a closer look at this age and gender demographic for BTS's 2020 Map of the Soul ticket sales. Females ages 25 and up made 46% of web traffic and 31% were males. BTS's fans named ARMY will often tell you BTS is not your typical boy band. And why? To get a better understanding, let us go back to the beginning. BTS was created by Big Hit Entertainment, whose mission statement is music and artist for healing. The company, and namely their CEO, Bang Ji Hyuk, wanted BTS to be sincere and genuine figures that people could easily relate to and grow with. Not immaculate idols groomed amid studio culture, but real boys who shared their authentic personalities and talents with the world. Which is why BTS stands for Pang Tan Sonyeon Dan, Korean for Bulletproof Boy Scouts. Pang Tan meaning to be resistant to bullets, so it means to block out stereotypes, criticisms and expectations that are aimed at adolescents like bullets to preserve the value and ideals of today's adolescents. In 2017, BTS rebranded their name and logo representing their growth and maturity, extending the meaning to beyond the scene. The new door-inspired logo symbolizes youth who don't settle for their current reality and instead open the door and go forward to achieve growth. BTS debuted on June 12, 2013 with seven members. RM, Jin, Suga, J-Hope, Jimin, V, and Jungkook. All seven members came from different parts of Korea. So at first, living together in a small apartment was a challenge. Their CEO, Bam Shi Hyuk, created a method for the boys whenever they got into an argument. Over the years, the boys have come to love each other despite their difference in personalities, to the point where they'd feel incomplete with one member missing. They became each other's strength and support and formed a brotherhood. Their climb to the top may seem sudden to those who didn't follow their journey, but it was far from a walk in the park. BTS's company, Big Hit Entertainment, started off small and faced numerous hardships, even coming close to bankruptcy. Since Big Hit wasn't a large company at that time, it lacked the resources for promoting BTS. Even getting the chance to debut was a fluke. Their debut performance opportunity came about because a music show needed a filler for someone else's spot. Even after they debuted, their performances would often get cut, and if they did make it on air, their screen time was very short since Big Hit didn't have the power or influence bigger companies had over broadcast. Since they were often not invited to a lot of big variety shows, the company found their own way to communicate with their audience through platforms such as YouTube. By vlogging their journey, 
they allowed us to discover their personalities. They also created their own variety shows and often live streamed with hands. They honed their crafts for hours on end, practicing in the dance studio and producing music, returning home at dawn to all sleep in one bedroom. Two years of hard work and not knowing where they'd end up, they finally won their first music show award. Yet, as they grew in popularity, they were falsely accused of sajeki, which is when a company buys their own artist albums to boost sales for the charts. That's because people couldn't believe a group from a small company was selling well, ignoring the fact that a small company wouldn't have the resources to pull off such a scam. These were just a few of their hardships and struggles. I created a separate video highlighting their past hardships. I'll link that in my description box. Throughout the years, BTS were able to reach impressive milestones while continuing to sing in Korean. They shattered cultural language barriers with music and attracted an international audience. They grew organically by staying true to themselves while building a genuine connection with their fans from around the world. During an era where streaming numbers have gone up and traditional album sales have gone down, BTS has become an industry anomaly. Their latest album, Map of the Soul 7, released February 21, 2020, is the best-selling physical album of the year, and they sold over 500,000 copies in just the United States alone. The biggest kicker? Well, BTS did this without a single bundle. And what does bundle mean? Artists would bundle merchandise or concert tickets with the album's sales. For example, a copy of an artist's album, digital or physical, would be included in every t-shirt sale or ticket sold for their concert. These sales would count towards charting numbers and become an industry-wide tactic in the U.S. to help boost sales figures and in effect climb up the billboard charts. In a 2019 New York Times article, they said, about half the 39 titles that topped the charts last year were sold as part of ticket or merchandise bundles. Without the help of bundles and driven by the power of armies alone, BTS were able to beat a lot of historic records, such as Michael Jackson's 36-year record and the Beatles' 22-year record. While these musical acts are famous around the world, Sugar has said it's a great honor to be called the Beatles of the 21st century. At the same time, it's a bit pressuring to be called that. We are BTS. We want to be the BTS of the 21st century. The members themselves have always been involved in their music and engaged with their fans, even before they officially debuted. From their debut album, Too Cool for School, in 2013 to their most recent Map of the Soul 7, all seven members have contributed as either writers and or producers on every album. All of BTS are associate members of the Korea Music Copyright Association. And as of August 2020, J-Hope, Suga, and RM were all promoted to full members of the association. They even create music that's released for free on SoundCloud as gifts to their fans. Much of their work touches on subjects like mental health, youth and female empowerment, okay. child abuse, cyberbullying, self-love and development, and socioeconomic injustices. Much of the work is also inspired by past writers and thinkers. Their latest series, Map of the Soul, incorporates psychological concepts by Swiss psychiatrist Carl Jung. BTS is not afraid to use their platform to amplify underrepresented voices and issues, taking numerous risks with their career while receiving backlash from people in power. BTS are also as charitable as they are talented. Throughout the years, members have been donating individually and as a group. BTS rarely publicize donations, so fans often find out about them if media organizations uncover the details. One of BTS's few public announcements was in November 2017 for their Love Myself campaign. They partnered with UNICEF to create a campaign aimed at protecting children and teenagers from around the world, with the hope of making the world a better place through music. 
BTS and their company, Big Hit Entertainment, pledged 500 million Korean won and donated 3% of the income from the sales of physical albums of the Love Yourself series along with six other fundraising initiatives, including the Love Myself merchandise, where 100% of its proceeds were pledged to the cause. The Love Yourself series, which contained three albums total, sold over 7 million copies worldwide. On September 24, 2018, BTS was invited to deliver a speech about the Love Myself campaign at the United Nations General Assembly. On January 15, 2020, Formula E announced their partnership with BTS to help combat climate change. On June 3, 2020, BTS tweeted their support for Black Lives Matter. A few days later, Variety reported that BTS and Big Hit Entertainment had donated $1 million to support the Black Lives Matter movement. When armies got wind of the news, they matched their $1 million donation in one day. Now, these are just a couple of their acts of charity. With their socially conscious music, BTS created a new fandom culture that brings together fans from different national and racial identities. This led to the emergence of bilingual ARMY volunteers who translated BTS Korean lyrics and videos in their language almost real-time, making the content immediately available to non-Korean speakers. We may all speak different languages, but their music and their message connected people from around the world with different ethnicities, background, gender, and age. BTS has also expressed their love and respect for ARMY countless of times, such as always mentioning them first during speeches, responding to fans on their social media app Weavers, showing their appreciation for ARMY projects, halting rehearsals for the Muslim prayers in Saudi Arabia. The youngest member, Jungkook, even got the fandom name tattooed on his hand. Together with ARMY, they grew as individuals and as artists. Those 이 방탄소년단을 하는 이유가 맞는 것 같아요. 다행히 또 내가 원래 하고 싶었던 메시지 하고 싶었던 음악들을 하고 있어서 참 다행이라고 생각을 해요. 그러기 때문에 되게 그렇게 살고 있는 거예요. 긍정적인 에너지를 주는 거. 일단 이 일을 좋아하는 거. 이 일을 사랑하고 너무 좋아하는 게 되게 큰 영향을 주는 것 같아요. 왜냐면 이 일을 하기 싫고 실증이라고 하면은 무대 위에서도 나타나기 때문에 이 일을 굉장히 사랑하기 때문에 내가 무대 위에서 퍼포먼스를 할수 있고 노래를 할수 있는 계속 와서 응원해주는 모습 그리고 그렇게 저희를 진심으로 좋아해주는 그런 표정들 힘들 때 그런 표정들이 저에게 더 힘을 주어 주는 것 같아서. 여러분을 저희를 알아봐 주신 여러분들이라면 여러분의 꿈 꿈이 아니더라도 여러분의 삶 여러분의 인생에 언젠가 저희의 존재가 저희의 음악이 저희의 무대가 저희의 사진 영상이 여러분한테 아주 조금이라도 아픔이 100이라면 그 100을 99, 98, 97로 만들어 줄수 있다면 그걸로 저희의 존재의 가치는 충분합니다. 정말 사랑합니다. Their love for ARMY has also helped them decide on re-signing another seven-year contract with Big Hit Entertainment. They mentioned doing it for their fans and not for money. 
So while people often discredit BTS's talent, likening their popularity to superficial aspects that come with the image of a boy band, it is their development of personalities and sincerity towards their art and their fans that made their fandom the size and reach that it has become. I hope people will come to realize that BTS is more than just their singing and their dancing skills. They're not just performers, but artists who have healed and inspired millions of people around the world. For a deeper dive into BTS, please refer to these websites, apps, and ARMY accounts to stay updated. We're also working on more video projects and a website, so stay tuned. It's, it's very informative, and for people like us who are new to BTS, and, wow, shout out and to all the questions that we have.